Hello, my name is Emily Aiken, and I am a GIS analyst at the Washington College GIS Lab. Welcome to the geoprocessing demo. Here I am going to be showing you some of the practical skills that you will be utilizing during the lab exercise. As you can see, I've already got my map document open in ArcMap and have all the layers that I'm going to need. Not all of them are turned on, but I will be turning them on as I need them for the demo as we go through. We're going to start by demoing clipping. But before we clip anything, first we need to define our area of interest, the cookie cutter into which we will be clipping the other layers. Let's start by clicking on the Select Features tool on the toolbar. It's this one here, the one that looks like a mouse cursor with a blue envelope. Now we're looking at a map of Adams County, Pennsylvania with labels for each township. Let's say we're not interested in the whole map, just in one township. We are going to clip this data just to Reading, Pennsylvania. With the Select Features tool, Click on Reading Township, and the blue outline will appear around it. That means that it is selected. Now I'm going to right-click on the Adams County layer in the Table of Contents, and I'm going to select Data, Export Data. I'm going to give it a second to load. Now I want to give it a name, and I want to select the folder that I want it to export into. So I'm going to call this Reading Township. And you can see it's set to export only selected features. So when it exports, it will only take Reading, only this feature that we've already selected in blue. And I'm going to hit OK. And I want to hit Yes. I do want to add the exported data to the map as a layer. As you can see, we have a new layer that's just Reading. If I turn off the Adams County layer, you can see our new layer a little better. Now, I'm going to turn on the Streets layer. As you can see, this layer still covers the entirety of Adams County. We want to clip these streets so that they only cover Reading Township. Doing this will make our map look cleaner and it will also make the streets layer load faster because there will be less for ArcMap to draw. I'm going to open Arc Toolbox by clicking the red Toolbox button. I'm going to navigate to the Clip tool, which is found under Analysis Tools, inside of the Extract toolbar. And we can also just click on the Search tab over on the right-hand side and search for Clip. I'm going to double-click on the Clip tool. and we will see a dialog box appear. There's basically three things to choose. The first is the input fit feature. This is the layer that we want to clip. In our case, it's the streets layer. So I'm going to select streets. The second is the clip feature. This is the boundary that you want to clip to. It is your cookie cutter. We will be using the Reading Township layer. Finally, the Output Click Feature class is where you want your final product to be saved. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to my folder. And I'm going to call this Reading Streets. And now, once I've selected my Input Feature, my Clip Feature, and where I want it to output to, I'm going to hit OK. Now we just have to give it a minute to finish the clip. And when it's done, you'll see a green arrow check mark pop up at the bottom of the screen. If you see a red X pop up down here instead, that means something went wrong and you should try again. But we have a green check mark, which means we're good. Now let's double check that our clip worked the way that we want it. If we turn off the streets layer, we can see that our new Reading streets layer only covers Reading Township. See how neatly it fits inside? That's the benefit of clipping. Now, I'm going to want to zoom to Reading Township so we can see what we're doing a little better. So I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to click zoom to layer. And now see how it fits nicely within the boundaries of our screen. The next, we're going to have a look at buffering. I'm going to open up the Arc Toolbox again. 
and then I'm going to go to analysis and I'm going to open the proximity drawer and then I'm going to double click on the buffer tool. Now what I want to do is I want to create a buffer around our new streets layer. So for input features, I'm going to select Reading Streets and I'm going to set the output feature class to where I want it to be saved. I'm going to call this Reading Streets Buffer. And now I'm going to set the distance that I want it to buffer to. For this demo, let's do 200 feet. We can also change the unit of measurement using this drop down menu. Now there's one last thing that we want to change. Down here under dissolve type, we want to change from none to all. What this will do is it will give us just one big polygon instead of individual polygons for each of the street segments. And then I'm going to click OK. See how we now have a 200 foot buffer around each of our streams? I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see better. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to a color that you can see. There we go. There's our buffer. In the lab exercise, you'll be using this buffer along with the Reading water layer to determine how many streets fall within 200 feet of a stream, pond, or other body of water. For now, however, let's move on to merging. Let's say that we wanted to expand our focus to include not just Reading Township, but also Lattimore Township, the next township over. I'm going to turn on Lattimore Township and Lattimore Streets. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom out again. I'm going to zoom in so that we can see Reading and Lattimore. And I'm going to turn off our buffer so that we can see what we're doing a little better and so the map doesn't get too cluttered. Now, let's say that we wanted to merge the Lattimore Streets and the Reading streets so that we wouldn't have to do two separate streets layer at the same time. I'm going to open up our toolbox and I'm going to go to data management, general, and I'm going to double click on merge. Now what merge does is it puts together two features into one new feature. So I'm going to select Lattimore Streets, and I'm also going to select Reading Streets, and you can see that they've both appeared in this dialog box. Now I'm going to set where I want them to merge to, and I'm going to call this Streets Merged. And I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to hit OK. And once again, we see that we have the little green check mark, which means that it merged successfully. It can be difficult to tell at first whether the merge actually changed anything. So in order to double check that our merge was, is correct, we can turn off Reading Streets and Lattimore Streets. We can see that the new Streets merge layer covers both of the townships. Finally, let's check out the Dissolve tool. In order to do that, I'm going to turn off the other layers and I'm going to turn the Adams County layer back on. I'm going to right click and I'm going to zoom to layer for all of Adams County and I'm going to click this clear selected features which looks like a white envelope it's right next to the select features button. Now there's no features selected and we're just looking at all of Adams County. Now let's say 
that we wanted a layer that's just an outline of Adams County. We have this layer, which divides it up into townships, but what if we just wanted that outline? An easy way to do this would be to dissolve the Adams County layer. So I'm going to open up our toolbox. I'm going to go to Data Management, and I'm going to go to Generalization, and I'm going to select Dissolve. Now we want Adams County to be our input feature. And one last time, we want to give it a name and specify the output. So I'm going to call this Adams County Dissolved. Now, if we wanted to dissolve features together by a particular attribute, if we only wanted to dissolve polygons together if they had the same name, for instance, we could use the Dissolve field. But for the purposes of this exercise, we want to dissolve everything together, so we're not going to select anything. We're just going to click OK, and we're going to let it work. Now I'm going to turn off the Adams County layer, and you can see that we have one finished polygon that's just an outline. In the lab exercises, you will also be using the append, multiple ring buffer, and intersect tools. However, this demo will get you started in the right direction. Thanks for watching and have fun geoprocessing.